Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. It's been interesting for me to hear members of the NDP as well as of the government talk a lot about other jurisdictions, and yet when I ask the Parliamentary Secretary if he could name a single jurisdiction where decriminalization or legalization led to a decrease in use, he wasn't able to name that jurisdiction. So I wonder if the NDP, given that they're advocating this course, can do better, because all the evidence I've read suggests that, for better or worse, there is an increase in use when you make the laws more permissive, and that's only logical. I do want to ask him as well, uh, with respect to the Conservative position, because some members have said that we support decriminalization, which we certainly do not, we, we instead passed a motion, and I supported it, to have a ticketing option to continue to have marijuana be a criminal offense, but to allow police to use a ticketing option. I would consider that a middle way that allows for effective enforcement in a range of different kinds of situations. So I would like to know, in addition to this question about jurisdictions, if the member has thoughts on that as an option uh, for addressing the situation we face, but also continuing to have that uh, strong, um, strong sense that the marijuana really is associated with significant health problems. The Honourable Member for Courtney Alberni. Well, first, I'd like to, to, to...